G'day and welcome. This video in the series is going to deal with trigonometric functions being integrated and specifically uh, powers of trig functions. Now I'm going to deal with all three trig functions at the same time because they all follow the same pattern. The first thing to realize is this, when we write uh, for example sine to the power 7x we mean sine x to the power 7. This is a particular terminology we use just to express a power. Certainly in Australia it is. I realise there are some uh, differing terminologies around the world. But this is uh, what we use. The second thing is that when we find the derivative of sine x to some power, I'll use this terminology. Actually, I'll use the terminology but I'll use power n. The derivative is n sine x to the n minus 1 times the derivative of sine x, which is cos x. Multiplying both sides by dx, we get this. Integrating the, this integral undoes that derivative, so I'll remove them. And this is our first expression which shows that the pattern we're trying to achieve in order to get this result is if we have a power of sine x with its derivative attached and normally I would write this the other way around uh, so if we have cos x times a power of sine x this is the pattern we're looking for similarly I won't go through the derivation but cos of x to the n will look like n, I'll actually move the derivative forward, the derivative cos is minus sine, and if I'm integrating, uh, or if I'm finding a tan x to the power n, I'm integrating n tan x n minus 1 dx and the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. So these three patterns are the ones I'm looking for. So as not to confuse it unduly, I'm going to add n, add 1 to each of the n's because when we think of this pattern we're thinking of sine x to the n. So if I add 1 to this I get n if I add 1 to this, I get plus 1. And if I add 1 to this, I get plus 1. Add 1 here. Add 1 here. Add 1 there. Add 1 here. Add 1 there. Add 1 there. If we take just one more step, because n plus 1 is a constant, we can actually divide both sides by n plus 1 this is what whiteboards are good for I can do the same here and I can do the same here I'll just rewrite the s for sec so you've seen a number of changes I, I apologise for doing it like that and not filling it out fully, but if I did that you'd be looking at another five or six minutes at least of video. But I want you to see, sorry, I'll write the cosine x first. But these are the three patterns, whether we have sine x to a power, cos x to a power, or tan x to a power, the key pattern we're looking for is we want the derivative of tan x at the front, the derivative of cos x at the front, or the derivative of sine x at the front. This is the pattern we're looking for. And in each case, we simply write this function to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 with the same number. So if it's a power of cos, it becomes cos x to the one extra power, or power plus 1, over that. If it's tan x to the power n, then the result will be tan x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. That's the key pattern. 
And because they're so similar, I've treated them all together. We've just got to remember the derivative of tan is six squared, the derivative of cos is minus sine, the derivative of sine is cos. That's the key that we're looking for. So let's uh, integrate a few uh, expressions and see if we can recognize these patterns and put them to good use. So here I have three functions. You can see one of them is a, power, a tan x to the power 11, a sine x to the power minus 4, and a cos x to the power 3. We're going to integrate these, but notice all of them follow the pattern. The derivative of tan x is 6 squared x, the derivative of sine x is cos x, and there's a cos x here, and, then, and the derivative of cos x, or cosine of x, is minus sine x, I'll just remove the minus so that it looks a little bit different. But there is in fact a sine x at the front. So we have a derivative of the function out the front with the, the trig function with some, to some power inside. In every case, all we need to do is make an adjustment to the constant. Now, in order to fit 3 on the screen here, I'm going to do some rubbing out on the whiteboard. Our first job is to move these numbers out the front. So the 5 will come out here, the 2 thirds will move out here, the 8 over 11 will move outside. We want them out of the road, and of course that will be your first step if you're integrating these. The second step is to make sure that the derivative of tan x is exactly 6 squared x, which in, case, in this case it is, there is no adjustment necessary. The derivative of sine x is cosine of x, no adjustment necessary. The derivative of cos x is minus sine x, so we actually need a minus si sine here, or a minus 1, if you like. And to compensate, we have to, if you like, multiply by the reciprocal, 1 over minus 1, which is really just another minus 1. You can see that minus 1 times minus 1 makes plus 1, and 1 times anything is not going to change its value. So, the integral will be 5, and this is the exact pattern we require, so we write tan x to one higher power over 12 plus a constant. Here we write the two thirds, and we write sine to one higher power over the minus 3 plus c. So you can see that this pattern is being replaced by that, which is what we showed at the beginning of the video. Here we're going to have minus 8 on 11, and this particular integral is going to be cosine of x to the power 4 over 4 plus c. Now, of course, uh, you would leave that alone. This one, the minus sign would come out the front. Actually, I've got room to do that. Uh, and 3, 3s and 9s, so we'd have minus 2 on 9 sine the minus 3 of x. Dear, oh dear. You didn't tell me about this. I am being lazy. I think I'm not sure what's happening today. This one here, minus 8, I'll leave the minus out the front. 11 times 4 is 44, and we've got cos to the power 4x plus c. I'll rewrite that. I don't think I've left anything out. I seem to be dropping everything today. But there it is. This is the particular pattern where we have a trig function to a power. I hope that's made sense to you. If you've liked it and found it valuable, please like the video and leave your comments uh, by all means. And please subscribe so you learn about future videos. Thank you very much for watching.